Hi everyone, greetings from my studio. I wanted to take a little time today to talk about my brushes and how I use them and do a little tutorial. So I am traditionally an oil painter and that's how I started, but about 20 years ago I switched to acrylics. So I have my wet palette here. I have my assortment of brushes and I also have, and I've mentioned this before, but this is how I keep my brushes wet while I'm working with them. So this is a piece of plastic wrap with a wet paper towel folded over and I put my brushes inside and I fold the plastic wrap on top of it and this is how I keep my brushes fresh while I'm working with them. I'm going to put them over here. So Rose Smalling uses either round brushes, flat brushes, or filberts. Now brushes are a painter's main tool. So I prefer round brushes, so for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to start with that. So I'm going to pull out three here that I have. I traditionally use a low Cornell brush. I've used them traditionally for years, and recently, in the last year or two, I've been playing with the Joe Sonia Shore Touch brushes, 1350 rounds. The Low Cornell was a 795 round. And I've also picked up a King Art 9004 round that I'm going to play with. I'm going to put all these other guys aside because I will talk about them another time. So with my round brushes, when I load them, and also, by the way, I have a palette, a, a uh, water basin, a palette. Of course I have a palette. It's right there. Silly me. All right, so here's my Joe Sonia Shore brush. I'm taking it and I'm twirling it, if you can see. I'm twirling it into my paint. All right, that's how I load this brush here. And I'm going to take it and do some basic brush strokes. So I've spoken about doing C strokes before. I'm going to push my bristles down. I'm going to take the pressure off and I'm going to lift it up. Let's see if I can do that at a better angle so my hand's not in the way. So I'm going to take my brush, I'm going to push it down, I'm just going to slowly pull it to my right, and I'm going to take the pressure off. I like to compare it to an airplane taking off. I didn't come up with that. One of my, my main mentor, Eldred Arnson, used to say that. Think of it as an airplane. Here's the airplane on the runway. It's starting to take off. As it takes off, the wheels gently lift off the ground, and so does your brush. And you pull and let it follow. I can continue that in the other direction. I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to push it down. I'm pulling the brush ever so slightly to my left. I'm going to take it the pressure off my brush and let it lift. So C strokes are one of the two main strokes that make up rose modeling. I can do it from the thick end to the thin, but I can also do a C stroke thin to thick. So think of an airplane coming down for a landing. Here it comes. It touches down. Those tires come down further and I push my bristles down and I'm turning it ever so slightly, but I'm letting my brush or the wheels come to a stop, and then I'm going to lift it straight up. Let me do that again. I'm going to take my brush, I'm going to pull it down, it's that airplane landing, it's coming fully down, it's at the end of the runway, it's doing a turn in towards the terminal, and then it stops, and then it comes straight up again. Let's try that again. Oh, hello brushes. Here they come, flying at me. Let's do it in the opposite direction. So, the airplane's coming in. It's coming down for a landing. I exert the pressure on my brush to pull it around. It's turning towards the terminal. Now, this one's not as pretty, but oh well. It's just paint. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to bring it to a stop, and I'm going to pull it up. Now, the reason I say about pulling it to a stop 
is because if I come in too fast, that airplane's rushing, right? The airplane's coming down, it's coming around, it's coming around, it's coming around, then I, oh, well, that's a flippy. It looks like the airplane took off again. You know, very technical terms in, in painting. Flippies uh, are just one of them. So we don't want flippies. Now, I am in between adding just a little bit of water to my brush just to loosen it up. Again, I'm coming back over to my paint. And this is just a Joe Sonia Red Earth that I'm using right now, for example. Uh, Joe Sonia brand is my favorite brand to use. Uh, this isn't the Red Earth, this is the Norwegian Orange, but this is what it looks like. All right, so let me show that again so we don't get a flippy. Remember the airplane's coming down. It's coming for that. Into the terminal. It's pulling around. I'm going to slow down, let the brush bristles catch up to me and pull it straight up in the opposite direction. Again, I'm taking it around. I'm pushing it down. Turn, 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 and straight up. This is one of the best ways to practice with your brush is just play around with these brush strokes. So, the C stroke is one, the other one is the S. I've talked about this before. The S stroke, again, using this round brush, I'm going to come down. The plane is coming for a landing. I'm going to push it down, but then it decides it wants to take back off again, take the pressure off, and let it take off. Let's do that in the opposite direction. Now the S strokes usually build, or they always build, off the back of the C strokes. The C strokes are your roots. The S strokes are your tendrils. So, for example, well, let's do another one of those. So remember the airplane's coming in. It's exerting pressure down. Oh, but it wants to take off again. Let the pressure off and let it fly away. So this is one thing you want to do is you want to build some C strokes here. Let's do a C stroke here. Remember I'm pushing it down. Well, my paint's a little dry, so I'm going to add a little water to my brush, twirl it back in. I'm going to bring it back here, around. You know, let me, I realize I did that off camera, but so I'm taking my brush, I'm just putting it in there, tapping it off a little bit. I'll take a piece of paper toweling, tap a little there, then I'll come back into my palette, turn my brush. The reason I'm twisting my brush in is I really want it to be at a point. You can see that. Because if it's all flat like this, I can't, I can't get that nice point as I'm painting here. So I want to twirl it in. All right, let's do that again. Here we go. Here comes my I'm gonna pull it over this way. Here comes my C stroke. The plane is coming down for a landing. It's turning into the terminal. It's doing a little turn there. Remember, let it come straight up. And now I'm going to do the back of the C stroke with an S stroke. All right. I might sometimes you might feel you have a little too much paint on your brush. You can pull it across your paper towel like this to get a point again. All right, I'm going to come down the back of my C stroke and I'm going to build that S stroke off of it and let it take off again. Sorry, that was off camera. Let me do that again. So I'm going to do my C stroke here and around, let it catch up, a little dry, add a little paint to it. I'm going to take my S stroke off the back and I'm going to pull it around like this. Give it another little bump. All right, so here is a basic tutorial on C strokes and S strokes using a round. This is a number four Joe Sonia Short Touch 1350. Um, Find brushes, see what you like. Um, as you work with brushes, you're going to find that you end up with lots and lots and lots. <laughs> and, oh my goodness, 
lots of brushes here. I'll apply for a second. All right, lots of brushes, lots of brushes, lots of brushes. All right, everyone, have a great day. And remember, it's just paint. Take care.